ไฟเดียวจะเล่าเลยไอ้เบนไม่นิ่งเป็นไม่นิ่งเบนอยู่กันยังไงมีกันยังไงมีฮะ Yes. Okay, very good. So today, let us talk about health. Okay, our topic for today is about health. Okay, so we're going to talk about junk food. Junk food. Okay. So this one. Okay, do you eat junk food? So, oh, as you. This is what we consider junk food. Okay, so you can see this one. Okay, are you familiar with all the food that you have seen in the picture? Are you familiar? Fries, that's McDonald's. Do you have McDonald's in your country? No. No? KFC. You don't have? Yeah, I just have KFC. Uh, this one, Jollibee. Yeah. Jollibee. Jollibee too. Jollibee too. Yeah. Have. Okay, this is McDonald's. Do you have McDonald's? No. We have KFC and Jollibee. KFC and Jollibee. McDonald's is the same as McDonald's is the same as Jollibee. Okay, the taste, the chicken, the burger, the fries. They have also like Jollibee and KFC. So this one we considered it as. You make friends. Okay, you say hi to Julian. Okay, this is. Considered as junk food, so although we find it delicious because it's chicken, but then I guess this is what we call a burger with chicken with cabbage and fries. Why is? How about you, Ben? So why is fast food so attractive to some people? If I'm going to ask you, why do you like Jollibee? Why do you like KFC? Why or why is fast food so attractive to some people? Why? Why do you think so? I don't like I don't like a, a burger or uh like burger or fries uh, or. Chicken, I don't like that. Except, wow! Uh, ice cream. Type of food that you like. Wow, that's good for you. What is your favorite food? Is it KFC or Jollibee? Chips. You like chips? Chips. Uh, sometimes like ribs. Sometimes and you don't like it. Either. You drink soda like cola. Sometimes I I'm drinking soda too. You're craving. But I don't like uh, soda much. Yes. What is really your favorite food? The in one that I like or in oh. Like in my life or in KFC or Jollibee. Since when you were a kid. Um. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Fish. <coughs> Fish. Yes. 
That's all. What can be done to encourage people to eat less of it? So I told you that eating a lot of these fast food foods are not good. So what can be done? Yeah, what can be done to encourage people to eat less of it? So you just you were going to tell them. So what were what are the things that you were gonna say for them to to encourage that eating fast food, eating junk foods are not actually advisable to people because it's not healthy, right? So what do you think you were gonna say to them? How will you encourage? How will you... uh let me think. Go oh, Ben, you can do it. What will you say? What will you say to them? Thinking. Um... I'll give an, an advice. Give an advice? What will you say? Just what will you say? Um, you should stop eating junk food because it's bad and it's getting. And if you eat that every day, you're gonna get fatter. But if you really, really fat, <laughs> it's too late for you. <laughs> Oh, so of course you still have chance because if you're really, really fat, it's not, it's not good anymore because you are considered as, and you are obese, so it's really hard for you to say no to some of those or to some of those things. Okay, so we have here some uh the word vocabulary. We have the word excess. Uh, excess. More than it's necessary, reasonable or consequence, a result of something that has happened specially and unpleasant results. Yes, yeah, the consequences of what you did. For example, you're doing something bad. So what are the consequences? So the result is also bad. So the consequences of doing something bad will result also bad. Okay, how about this? The okay leftover. The leftover. What do you mean by that one? I, in in my country, so Filipinos really love to save food. So there are a lot of leftover, especially if you're having an activity or an event in the dinner i know in the lunch and then i need to save food during for the dinner time so i have to uh what they call that one have to share something so there's a leftover okay so in your country do you know the term leftover preservative next is Preservative. What is preservative? Okay, next is dramatic, that is exaggerated in order to create a special effect and attract people's attention.
Next is possession, an amount of food that is large enough for one person. So what do you mean by the word collapse? Medical condition. So when person suddenly becomes a very ill and he or she falls because they are ill or weak. So have you seen people or classmates or relatives that is collapsed? Have you seen? What? Anything okay, have you seen? Can you say it again? Okay, have you seen people or a friend or a classmate who have been collapsed? Have you no, seen? I haven't, no, I haven't seen that. You haven't seen, okay. Psychological, it means connected with a person's mind and the way in which it works. That's psychological. Okay, disorder, it's an illness that causes a part of your body to stop functioning correctly so it will stop so the disorder so there's something wrong with your body that it's not functioning correctly so there is a disorder administer okay <coughs> administer minister it means to manage to organize the appear at the affair of the company organization or country so you have to administer a test it means you will gonna have a test. Okay, another one is hypnosis. Hypnosis. Okay, it's an unconscious state in which body can still see and hear and can be influenced to follow commands or answer questions. That's hypnosis. It's unconscious state in which somebody can still although you are unconscious, okay, you're closing your eyes, but then you're able to answer questions. You're able to hear. So that is what the term for that is hypnosis. Session. Okay. Session, it's a period of time spent during a particular activity that's spent. Okay. Ah, session. Session. We have 50 sessions, 50 lessons. Okay, that's session. Can you wait me a few minutes? Okay, so you, you read the three texts about food addiction. So we have here three texts about food addiction. What are the consequences of the three people addiction? So we have here. Can you wait me a few minutes? Yeah, go Ben.
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Okay, so we have here to read the text about the food addiction. So A is a pizza boy. Few people would disagree that one of the world's most popular dishes is pizza. Okay, so we cannot deny the fact that pizza is very common. Right? Very common. So a 22-year-old Jack certainly wouldn't, would not, he would eat any type of pizza that he could find. Homemade pizza covered in five ingredients. We cook microwave pizza full of additives and preservatives and even the pizza left over from the night before. Okay, actually we can save or we can have pizza left over because it's very easy to put it in the oven and cook it again. He ate pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and was consuming about 800 kilograms of it a year. So actually pizza is considered as carbo because it is made by flour. As a child, Jack had eaten a wide variety of food, and it wasn't until he started secondary school that he became addicted to pizza. American school meals have often criticized for the large amount of fast food present on the menu. So at Jack's school, pizza was the star dish, and he couldn't get enough for it. Furthermore, Jack was receiving Jack's family, very worried about their son's diet, was in high calorie and low in vitamins. So what's Jack? It was in a desperate attempt to break his addiction. He agreed to appear on a TV program. It wasn't easy, but Jack finally demonstrated that he had given up eating pizza in a dramatic end to the show. He had to eat fresh dish. While his brother sat in front of him enjoying a pizza. Jack met the challenge, and according to the problem maker, he has never eaten pizza again. So, this story is about the pizza boy named Jack. Okay? So, you read the text, as you will read the text about food addiction. What are the consequences of the people? First, pizza boy. What do you think are the consequences that shock? We're going to face because he keeps on eating pizza. What do you think? What do you think, Ben? What do you think, Ben? What are the consistent that? Sample the pizza boy. What do you think is the consistent that? Just give me one consistent set. Okay. If you keep on eating pizza, what will happen to you? What will happen to you if you keep on eating pizza? Let us put this way. If you keep on eating pizza, what will happen to you?
Okay, what will happen to you if you keep on eating pizza, Ben? In your own idea, if I will ask you, if you keep on eating pizza, what will happen to you? You will gonna have what? I think it's gonna be fatter. Okay, you're gonna be more fat and? Fat and I... <clears throat> Addicted to them, gonna be eat them for the whole life. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be more fat. Okay, and or it's more fat, and you will gonna have lots of things to do. Okay. So you're gonna be obese. Okay, so Zach appeared on a TV program that offered help to people with a food addiction. He to have overcome his he appears to have overcome his addiction because he keeps on eating pizza and he cannot control that one. It's very hard if you keep on eating because mostly uh the the cause is that the schools also is offering pizza. So Next, the chicken nugget girl. Okay, are you familiar with the chicken nugget? Are you familiar, Ben? Do you know yeah. what is chicken nugget? Chicken nugget. Just like chicken. Yeah. yeah. Do you like chicken nugget? My, there's a like, shop near that. Do you like that? I haven't eaten it. You haven't eat? No, I haven't eaten Okay, it, it's tasty, it's yummy, of course, it's yummy. So, Chicken Nugget Girl, when a 17-year-old Stacy Irvin sent <coughs> her, they know that they are going to have struggle to find a place to sit in her bedroom. Why? Because Stacy shares her room with thousands of free toys that she has received as a reward for its loyalty as a reg regular customer of a fast food restaurant. <coughs> She always goes to the restaurant. She's a regular customer. So if Stacy's mother could travel back in time and change one thing, it would be the moment that she decided to take two-year-old Stacy to a McDonald's restaurant and give her a portion of chicken nuggets. Since then, Stacy has refused to eat anything. For the pieces of fried chicken and as a result her diet has created serious health problems so in fact so serious that our problem that she has been warned that if she doesn't soon change her diet she always keeps on eating chicken at it she will die Stacey's body has so few vitamins and nutrients adopt a healthier lifestyle Stacey's mother was obviously worried about Sad, but said that while Stacy was beginning to understand the seriousness of her situation, she couldn't eat anything else but chicken nuggets. So she is really addicted in eating chicken nuggets. Comes to the point that the doctor said that if she will not stop eating that one, she will die. Okay. What do you think is the consequence? Keep on. Eating the chicken nugget. Me yeah. or my my opinion or that or, or mm -hmm. the aircraft. You will. My opinion or that. Your opinion, your own opinion. Um, maybe gonna be a bat too. Mm hmm. I really like chicken, but sometimes I eat rice. Uh, what can I say? Like, yes. I sometimes eat fried chicken too, but it's my grandma made for me, I so did. I don't okay, oi. know how. Of course. Yes. So your opinion, so it's not good. Generally, it's not good. I guess uh, 
um, eat one time is good, but eat too mm -hmm. many times is bad. Okay, very good. If you eat one, two, or three, it is not that bad. But if you keep on eating always, so it's not good anymore. Remember that one. Eating lot, not good for your body. Even though it's not nuggets, even a lot of food. Are you drinking more than the if you drink excessive uh, excessive content like you were gonna drink cola every day, more uh breakfast, dinner, uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner, so it's not good anymore. Okay. So next one we have okay. So first here sorry. So Stacy becomes seriously ill and was admitted to the hospital. While she is aware of the dangers of her situation, she still hasn't managed to change her diet. So imagine that one. She knew already that it's not good for her health, but she keeps on doing and eating chicken nuggets. Okay, this one. Next is the chip girl. Do you know what is chips? Chips. Okay, the one who loves chips. Okay. So a cheap girl, we have here the 20-year-old Hannah. Little was keen on chips. So she loves chips. In fact, she loves them. With the exceptions of the little toast for breakfast, the only thing that Hannah cons consumed for 15 years was one plate of chips after another. Oh my God, eating chips excessively banned. And it did. Because not only did Hannah develop health problems, of course, she also had to leave her job after collapsing at work. She was collapsed. Hannah's love of chips had turned into an addiction at the age of five. Imagine five until 20. So Hannah says that she was terrified of tasting the flavor of different types of food and she would feel anxious just the idea of doing it. Furthermore, Hannah was soon as seen as odd by her friend's parents. It wasn't until she reached at the age of sixteen that Hannah discovered Hannah discovered Hannah discovered that S E D was usually caused by a bad experience with food as baby that the sufferer had no harm memory of. However, this new knowledge failed to produce a solution and it wasn't until she lost her job because she took the action that would convert her into a normal eater. So, no matter what she will go into do, example, she wants to eat chicken, she wants to eat burger, but the taste of her taste buds is different. She's still longing to have the chips. One plate to another plate to another plate. Imagine then, Leaving that one, that kind of addiction for 15 years. Okay, imagine that one. Hannah decided to seek help and went to psychologist Felix Okanomakis who administered a treatment that none of the doctors that she had seen before had mentioned. This is what we call hypnosis. Uh, what is again the meaning of hypnosis? This is the time that you're actually okay, you can hear, you can respond, but you are <coughs> mentally unstable. Okay, so that is hypnosis. So it worked after just one hour session, Hannah was ready to eat dry food. And then she was been willing to eat anything, including chips. Imagine that one. So that's what happened. So... Hey. Wait, this looks like someone in my class. You have? Uh, no, I just remember someone like mm. addicted to from very small from the child bro, to this. Mm. But I cannot remember who. I think, but uh, I think now he has, he is in cure or something. Mm -mm. Okay, so what happened to your classmates? Do you have classmates like that? 
Yeah, but I can't remember what he addicted to. Okay, yes. Yeah. No, it's Rob. He, he's been cured, so it's normal now. Okay, yes. Okay. Hannah <coughs> lost her job, went to the psychologist, had hypnosis, and overcome her addiction. So this is what happened to Hannah. She thought that she was lost her job. She went to psychologist because if she did not see psychologist, nothing happened to her. So everything will be useless. So she tried her best to see a psychologist to cure the, her condition. So again, Ben, eating too much will not really help you. Okay? If you want to eat, you can eat chips, you can eat nuggets, you can eat pizza, ice cream, or whatever food that you like. But not excessively, because if you keep on eating that, you will become addict. You will not eat proper food like rice, meat, vegetables, fish. You will not eat that one because, for example, you keep on eating fish all the time. Eat fish, 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 fish. Okay, or all the time you keep on eating chips, 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 chips all the time. Okay, so you have to try another food. So you will realize how how nice it is it. Ate, Ate, you cover your this one. How about your baba? You cover your baba? Oh. Okay. So that is okay. And lucky thing that Hannah did. She lost her job, went to see psychologists, and had hypnosis and overcame her condition. So this is really bad for Hannah, but at least. She was able to do that in an earlier time. Okay? So, again, so our teacher answered, so you have to take care of everything, not only you, as well as to your, to your siblings. So, if you really like some food, it's not bad. You have to eat one, two, three. But if you keep on eating every day, consistently, excessively, so it's not good anymore. That will totally broke your health and soon later sooner you will gonna have a health problem so it would be a very big problem anymore you will lose your job you will be hospitalized and even more you will be you will die so you want that you will get sick you will be very you will gonna have okay Hello? Okay, yes. Okay. <clears throat> so we only have two minutes. Okay. Ben, still, I will see you tonight, right? Yeah, I okay. think. Okay. So let us continue this topic tonight about the pizza boy. So we are not yet done with unit. What unit is this, Ben? Unit 6D. Am I correct? So let us continue our topic tonight at 8 p.m. Oh, wait me. Wait me, Ben, ha? Wait me, Ben. Uh, yeah. 8 p.m. If you want, we can have class earlier. Like, um, do you want to have 7 p.m.? Is it okay? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. Would that be okay? Okay. Okay. So I will see you at 7 p.m. tonight, okay? Ben, is it okay? I will see you again at 7 p.m. tonight. Okay, Ben? Yes, okay. So see you and let us continue our topic. We are now about Pizza Boy. Okay, what topic is this? Oh... Unit 60 and about talking about health, the health problem. So again, Ben, I will see you at 7 p.m. tonight. Sorry yesterday because teacher has a power interruption. I mean, the internet is really bad, so I couldn't have the class properly. So that's why I decided to have it today in the morning and in the night time. Okay, Ben? So, thank you so much for today. 
for this morning. Have a great day ahead and I will see you in the night time. Okay? 7 p.m. is good for you. Okay? Bye, Ben. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Ben. Bye.